Welcome back to Guardian of Chaos, the YouTube channel here in the vault of Chaos Chronicles for Chaos Corner. Drop an elbow on that like button as we continue to give our, what would you like to call it, a tribute, flashback, throwback, way back to classic women's pro wrestling. To the ladies of the 80s and the ladies of the 90s, long before tits and ass and garter belts and thongs and fishnet stockings and high heels and all that garbage they put out there from the middle 90s on. This is real women's pro wrestling. So our tribute to the ladies continues. I hope you enjoy it. Lucha Libre. Oh, no offense, man. Lighten up, man. K Fabe, but they not. It's, it's a joke, man. Let's enjoy and have some entertainment here. Enjoy the different arenas, venues, cultures from around the globe, the United States, Mexico, Japan, Canada. That's what I present to you here on this channel as we throw it back here and pay tribute to the women's wrestling business, the ladies, if you will. Take out your notebooks, pay attention, and remember... These are all independent shows from the 70s, 80s, 90s, to the, into the 20s, and even currently in 2024 with my home company of Paradise Alley Pro Wrestling. The independence, the backbone of this fucking industry. If this business, if you will, and I apologize for the cussing, I'm just trying to present different things on this channel. That's why I'm one man, unique, unedited, unscripted, raw dog for you, the fans. You never know what's going to be presented here on the channel. You never know what I'm going to say or what we're going to watch. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll do some voiceovers here and there if need be. No copyrights. Thank you to the near 25,000 that tuned in last week. I greatly appreciate it. And the over record... Over 200 new subscribers for the month of September. So October surprise in the world. Let's have an October surprise here on the channel. There's a lot going on out there. Stay mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually fit. A lot happening 2024 into 2025. Use your discernment. Stay with like-minded people. And if he is for us, no one else can be against us. Much love and respect to my moderators. I've said it before and I say it almost every video. My brother from another mother, Austin Nance, and of course the OTS tribal queen. So now I'm going to start to eat as we watch classic women's lucha libre. Four legends in the ring right now. La columna vertebral de Rosa María, toque de espalda tirada. Están luchando a ras de lora hasta el momento. Y es un placer presentar a amigos de Televisa. Y amigos, llega la visión, la mejor lucha libre del mundo. Desde un local de lujo, desde esta arena de México. La Catedral de la Lucha Libre, la arena de México. Inaugurada un 27 de abril del año de 1953. Por aquella lucha estelar. Entre el santo y el médico asesino contra Rolando Vera y Blue Demon. La historia brillante de este local, de esta arena de Chico. Ahí tenemos a Lola González. Lola finaliza. Y decíamos que es un cartel de campeones. 
que está la primera campeona que les tira en este cartel, en esta función sensacional para ustedes, amigos de Televisa. La campeona mundial, Lona González, ahí está. El toque de espalda que intenta Rosa María. Rompe muy a tiempo. El conteo de Gran Davis, ahí tenemos a Rosy Moreno, que está metiéndose ilegalmente a las acciones. Le reclama sus necios procederes Lola González. Y tenemos ahí intercambio de palabras entre Lola y Rosy Moreno. Vamos a ver aquí lo que intenta, una cruceta aplicada por, por Lola. Vean ustedes, geniales estas mujeres luchadoras. Mundo de creatividad es la lucha libre. La llave y la contrallave. El veneno y el antídoto presentes en este fantástico mundo. Un derribe japonés. Otro derribe que aplica Rosa María. Y ahí tenemos a la gran Lola González sobre este tapiz, sobre este cuadrilátero. No quiere Rocky Moreno, pleito con Lola González, le dice que se salga. Y mucho cuidado con este pique que puede surgir aquí entre Rocky Moreno, sobre todo Lola González. En el pasado ya hubo algunos enfrentamientos de estas mujeres. Cuidado porque aquí... Y puede surgir nuevamente ver ustedes el fuego por Lola el guapo el gallo de los huevos y ver ustedes escalando del cabello Rosy Moreno a la sensacional Lola González se baja Selene está ahí en la tarima de protección algo le dice a Lola y va a ingresar a este cuadrilátero Selene un derechazo ahí de Rosy Moreno Empieza la filigrana de Selene, la dama de la luna. En el pasado, utilizó máscara Selene. These ladies are talented, very qualified. You could see it in their work. And again, this goes back to the 1980s fans. Let that marinate, let that sink in before the knockouts division, uh, uh, the women's evolution, revolution, and even what we have today. And I respect these ladies today. They're incredible athletes. From Jordan Grace to Bianca Belair to Charlotte Flair uh, uh, to Megan Bain. I mean, it really is incredible, today's industry and today's business. But look at these ladies. Now, we're going back 30 and 40 years, fans. This is what I present to you on this channel. Different styles, cultures of pro wrestling. My motivation, my passion and hopefully providing a much-needed distraction for you because it is for me in these insane times in 2024 as we head into 2025. Sit back and relax. Well, I, I'm having a little hazelnut espresso. De espectacularidad y sobre todo lo más importante una luchadora que siempre se entrega a este público now just a little fun fact because this is why you're here the unique channel that it is no better just unique from someone who had an insider's view who was a talent who was in the business and as a fan as well a mark that's right i'll say it a mark we're all marks in 1986 i was down in mexico city and then made my way to Acapulco. We're going way back. I'd already started my training briefly. And down in Mexico, it was unbelievable, the atmosphere of Lucha Libre in the 80s and how they treated pro wrestlers. And even myself, uh, they stopped traffic so I can cross the four-lane highway to get to the beach, basically, in Acapulco. Mexico City certainly is not the Mexico City of today. So just a little flashback on the GOC and his scouting down in Mexico and learning the business and always picking up and trying to pick people's brains, uh, whether you're 20, 30, 40, 60, you can always continue to learn in this business. Rosa María, y tenemos ahora a 
Rosa María, ahí frente a Lola González. Además, una excelente oportunidad para la ruda de acorralar, de retar a Lola González a una lucha por el campeonato mundial. Una doble Nelson ahí aplicada por Lola contra Rosa María. No suelta del castigo, ahora le cambia la situación ahí. Rosa María, sin embargo, empieza las equivocaciones de las rudas. ¡Cuidado! Estas rudas, en verdad, dueñas de una gran personalidad. Desde que ingresan al cuadrilátero con esos hábitos que nosotros nos preguntamos de qué convento habrán salido. ¿De qué orden serán estas montas? Bueno, pues son de la orden del gran Davis. La orden de los rudos. As I sit here and watch this classic women's pro wrestling, I have a lot of things running through my mind as to you uh, fans of the IWC in this channel. Uh, my thoughts and prayers out to the victims and those that are still missing down in Florida and Georgia and Tennessee and North Carolina and West Virginia. I'm praying for you families and praying for the children and for anyone that's affected by this and the first responders and workers in the community and the friends of these folks from around this country It really is something. Pray for the children. I don't want to get too deep here, but I was thinking about it as I'm watching the ladies here and how much it was a simpler time back in the 80s. You have to remember, fans, I'm much older than probably most of my fans, although my age group is about 20% of the demographic here on the channel. And we'll have an analytics show coming up and give you a, a state of the channel uh, very soon from down in the bunker. Just want to say thank you guys for showing up and having this as a distraction is fantastic. And look, two referees here. Round and round we go. Long before Cesaro. Long before uh, whatever he calls himself now in, uh, in AEW. Claudio. All right, let me be quiet. Let me sit back and let you enjoy the match. It's over. Don't go anywhere. We're coming right back with more classic wrestling. Don't you dare miss it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I stand corrected. This could be two out of three falls as it is, is traditional lucha libre. Well, guys and fans of the channel that know me and know my history and background, back in 2006, 07, when myself and the outcast killers, Diablo Santiago and Oman Tortuga were going for the NWA World Tag Team Championships in a series of tables matches against, you guessed it, Team 3D, the Dudley Boys. Bully Ray, Bubba, if you will, pulled me in the dressing room in the back after our series throughout the Northeast. Unbelievable bouts. A lot of the channel, a lot of those matches are here on the channel. Navigate the almost 4,000 videos and you'll see a lot of my in-ring career as well as a pro wrestling manager. Who took the fucking bumps too? That's right, I'll say it. Bully said to me, Bubba said to me, you know, busted open radio, busted open after dark, busted open 24-7. Co-host along with La Greca, who has the brain of a dehydrated BB. Tommy Dreamer, Thunder Rosa, Mickey James, Mark Henry. Everybody's mother, brother, sister's ass is on that show. But good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, the, the leader in this industry, believe it or not. So back to the story. My mind's like a lazy Susan. It'll, it'll come back around. Bully said they were great matches. I took, a, you know, I took my big bumps. Ah, the what's up and stuff like that. Because that's what an old school manager does. Or what's the sense of being out there? I took the fucking bumps, as I said. And I apologize for the cussing. I just want to give you the story. So he said to me, Give Big Daddy the Guardian of Chaos seven spots and he'll fuck up six of them. I consider that to be a, come, a compliment coming from a two-time Hall of Famer, perhaps the best tag team in, in the history of wrestling. What matches they were. Go back and check them out. Thanks for listening to my stories here and rambling on. But that's why you're here. What do he say? No puñeta? What? Keep it clean. It's rated PG here. My family watches this. 
recuerda que el árbitro tiene que tomar de los cabellos a la monjita, a la monjita asesina. Es una quimera soñada, esta lucha por mujeres, pues por cuentos orientales. Y un suplex. Nice maneuver. Uno, dos y tres segundos. Bueno, pues parece que la rival por el centro mundial será justamente Rossi Moreno, que acaba de vencer con mucha rudeza. I believe we're even one fall apiece. The different cultures, two referees, you don't see that here. Different styles around the globe. That's what I present.